Hi, my name is Joanna Shero, and I am your Canvas Certified Creative, and I'm so happy and thrilled to be back. For today, I'll be sharing with you all this amazing new feature, and we're in You Can Start Importing or Uploading Your Old PDF Files or Any PDF Files and Start Redesigning Them Inside Canva. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so let's start to use this feature right now. So first off, there are actually two ways that you can actually import or upload your PDF file. So the first thing is actually you can drop and drag your PDF file into your Canva account. So what I'm gonna do right now is that I am gonna file the folder that has the information that I need and, and then I'm just gonna drop it here as you can see it. So that is the first way to do it. So it's just gonna upload here. So another way to do this one is that on the upper part where you see the create a design, you click on this one and then at the bottom part where it says custom size, edit photo, import PDF. That's also where you can actually upload your PDF. Now, before we start doing this and moving forward, I would like you all to make sure of some key things that you would like to take note of. When importing files in Canva, it needs to have 30 MB in terms of size. You have at least 100 pages that you can actually upload. If the file is composed of image and text, it will actually break it down once you have it in Canva. But if the file is actually a scanned document, it will not be broken down. So what will happen to that one? It will just be saved as like, you know, like a flat image, just like a JPEG or an image or a PNG that you upload in Canva. So as you can see here, um, we are gonna go ahead and open up the PDF file that we have. So I'm actually using this one because when doing this, um, doing this training, and I was really looking for a file that I can make use of, and I really realized that I don't have this file and I need to update this one for 2022. So that's just so timely, right, when doing this one. So normally as well, one key note that I also encourage is that you know sometimes like on new features that canva has they actually put out like a feedback form so if you actually can just you know answer that one provide them some awesome feedback that will be so useful for the product team of canva so now that you have this um first thing that you want to do is actually just see which area is kind of just wonky or needs a little bit more of work but the good thing again while you're doing this is because you would like to update some of the elements right okay so when I did this, the first thing that I've noticed is that this one is not the way I would like it to be. And it's just so timely because anyway, I am updating this one, right? So I can change that one into what I want to do. And then I've noticed that some of the bullet points as well here are actually really not looking good. So I need to adjust this one accordingly and make sure that I can do um, the correct way um, that I want it to be. So just be mindful as well if you are doing like checklists that there's line, um, boxes, like um, dial, like circular. Um, these are some elements that you really need to be mindful of because it might you really need a little bit more adjustment when you are doing this um, importing and editing your PDF file. But one thing I really love about this is that once it gets imported, you'll notice that I love how I can actually still end up dropping um, some of the images that I would like to replace, right? So for example, if I just want this, I did some um, updated brand shoot, so I can actually change. I didn't have to, you know, go to elements, look for a circle frame. So here it is, and then drop the image, right? It is not that way. It's much more easier. So if you have that, so like, for example, here, if I kind of just want to change this one, let's say I would like to go to photos. And just find something that I kind of just want to just replace this for now. So for example, that, right? So it really just occupies whatever frame um, there is on the PDF that you actually have. And that is just so amazing. I mean, the amount of time that you can really save on this. Another key note that I also would like to do, especially if you're doing lead magnets or PDF that has social link originally. So the original file that there is, this is actually a clickable um, images already on the PDF. But when you double check on it and see there's nothing here. So you wanna make sure that you reconnect each of this um, element as well. So, you know, you can always click just like when you're editing things so it can really change 
um, you know, some of the key things that you would like to highlight, some of the other elements that you would like to emphasize, you can surely do that one. Now, so this is a way of doing it from a PDF to importing. Now, what if, for example, you have a Google Doc that you have created long time ago and you've exported it as a PDF and just give it out. And normally what happened is that it doesn't really have a lot of design options that you can play around or you can really just have a little bit more personality with your PDF, right? So if you've noticed this one, so it's a little bit maybe boring in some sense. So let's it make more fun, right? Make more fun, uh, make more amazing fun designs um, with our PDF. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on print here and then save as PDF. So we're just going to wait for that one and we're just going to save that one in our file, right? Now we're going to go back to Canva, do the same thing, find that, that PDF that you have into your folder, drag and drop it. And then you'll be able to see on how easy it is, right? That if you have all the, the old, um, Word doc, Google doc, like for example, maybe a recipe, um, re one page recipe or a one page, whatever document it is in PDF and you want to revamp it using all the amazing things that you can do in Canva. This is surely one thing that you need, right? So as you can see here, um, if we are going to just do this one here, right? So everything is the same. It has been. So I'm going to go back to Canva and you'll see that everything is there. Again, there are just some sessions that you kind of need to adjust accordingly so that you can redesign them. So, but like, for example, this line, I can surely just edit it more and a little bit more of a different color. So for example, just a green, I can set it at the back. Oops, not that one. Let me there we go. Right. So, for example, if you just want that one and then you kind of want to replace, you want to replace also the, you want to replace the image. So let's see if we can find something that we can use also. Just go to photos for sure. You can also upload some amazing um, things that you have maybe elsewhere, but you can surely do that. And we are just going to do it here. Oops, there we go. Let me just detach, right click and just detach and then replace it there. And then I'm just going to adjust this one because it's giving me that option, right? So you can just adjust this. And as you can see here, the font is Playfair. And I know that this font here in my Google Doc is also Playfair display. So common fonts can be generated right away in Canva. If there's any special font, you might need to upload it in Canva as well. So just take note of those. And then here you're just going to adjust. So as you can see, we can just adjust this one because the image was actually wrapped around the text. So you want to see and adjust that. So I'm just doing that. And then one thing I love for sure about doing this is um, like, oh, before I do that, like I've mentioned, right? So adjust things accordingly. If you've noticed like, oh, this seems to be a little bit wonky. So just adjust each of the certain elements that you have in your file already in Canva. And then if I want to, for example, it's more of a branding, I'm going to go to elements and maybe I'm just going to do some shape and lines if you want to. So for example, you kind of just want to add that one. Just a little bit more of an accent there, a little bit more of a design. You know, kind of at the bottom part. Now, one thing though that I would like to give as an advice when you are designing PDF file, if it has the intention of being print out, like to be printed by your audience or by anyone else, you kind of want to make sure you design it in a way that doesn't consume much for a printer because that's where people actually stops. Oh, it's just too much or it's just too much going on. Of course, less is more when it comes to design, but still, if you want to, you know, add some certain elements, you kind of want to make sure to do that one and just be mindful of those certain tips that we are sharing with you all. So, you know, just basic um, if you want a little bit more line of a target, then you got to just click on that one. So that is for sure. There's a lot of things that you can really do with this option. And one thing that is always nice to have is just the 
flexibility that you can really just create in Canva for all the designs that you already have created previously in not really using, you know, a design more in your PDF, but really just the regular stuff that you actually do. So that's one of the key things. So with this one, you can really surely create, um, like for example, one page recipe, like I've mentioned, um, all your other PDFs that you kind of want to revamp. So this is very useful for sure. All right, so I hope you actually enjoyed that one because I just love showing you all of these amazing new features inside Canva. And I can't wait to actually see how you're going to use this one and turn your old PDF into new amazing PDF inside Canva. So make sure to comment down below and check out the rest of the Canva Certified Creative as we give you some amazing new feature and tips and tricks. Again, my name is Joanna, and if you would like to learn more about me and what I do, make sure to check out SavvyChicDesign.com.